In all forms of motorsport, high-speed accidents or collisions with other cars are inevitable. Protecting the drivers is a top priority. Even in the performance-based competitive world of sports car racing, Chevrolet and Corvette racing make sure there's no compromise on driver safety. The C7R is one of the safest cars on the racetrack. I truly believe it is. And Corvette racing really puts so much emphasis on safety. That's one of their top goals. That's one of their things, the first thing on the list. Although racing at high speed means that the dangers can't ever be completely eliminated, track design, vehicle construction, restraint systems and driver apparel all help reduce the risk for teams, officials and fans. For Tommy Milner, safety begins before he even gets in the car. The suit that we have is a three-layer Nomex suit. We've had the last two or three years now. It's a much sort of thinner version of what they're famous for, and that's their safety and their fire retardant system. So it's a much more form-fitting suit now. It's a bit lighter for us. That was always one of our complaints was it being heavy, and now they've sort of fixed that complaint. And there's not a suit that I've ever tried that breathes as well as this suit does. I think most importantly probably is the helmet and Hans device. So in the last couple of years, we've had to switch to a full carbon helmet, the same spec helmet that you would use in Formula One or any car, things like that. We talk about the comfort level. We have an air system in the car that blows nice cold air into our helmet. And this year, because our seat has changed a little bit, we've had to sort of modify how we get the air into our system. And then obviously, again, I think probably the most important safety advance for years and years and years has been the Hans device. It keeps your head basically with your body, which obviously is a good thing. And I certainly couldn't imagine being in a car without one. Milner's teammate Oli Gavin has the utmost confidence in the Corvette program and their approach to safety, with the advancing technology implemented into his C7R cockpit. So here we have the crash box. This is something here for side impacts and protect the driver, anything that could possibly intrude into the car. So this is something that's been on the race car for every single one I've ever driven. This is the brand new seat we've got for this year. This is something that the FIA has homologated with Pratt & Miller and Corvette Racing. And this is the brand new halo system. So it, it protects us uh, in an accident and protects, protects our head and our neck. It did cause some problems when we first started getting in and out of the car. Now it's good. We've also got window net, which does up in here. In an accident, that stops our arms from coming out or anything from coming in. Also, if you get down into the seat and you can see down, there's leg boards that go right down to help protect your legs. We've got the collapsible steering column that is part of the actual road car that we run in the race car. So any big impact head on, that, that steering column will collapse. All in all, there's a lot of safety features here, the Corvette C7R, which helps give us confidence and helps protect us in the event of an accident. Hopefully the advances in safety and the attention to detail from Corvette Racing will keep these racers safe for years to come. Over all of the years, our drivers have always come away unscathed, so it's really great to see, but you can never stop improving safety. You can never stop evolving this, and that's something that's foremost in everybody's mind here.